1921, 101 years of Mitsubishi Electric. The fan was the first product. Roman, this is the audience watching a great tour from us here in Germany, which I'm excited about. Let's talk a little bit quickly about the history of what's going on at Mitsubishi Electric. Hi Tony, thanks for being here. So first of all, as you said, uh, 101 years old now, Mitsubishi Electric. The fan probably was the first product, the first serial product of Mitsubishi Electric. And we quite technically in advanced a, a little bit in the last 101 years. I'd say you most certainly did, and the audience is gonna get to see that as we walk through. And we're actually gonna get to play with a few things because it feels like a science museum in the area. So stay tuned for that, but first, have you guys seen Star Club Hamburg? Do you guys know the Beatles? Do you want me to sing to you? Probably not, but it has been a hard day's night and we've been working like a dog. You just got back from the US. But with that being said, let's head downstairs and take a look at this state-of-the-art facility that you have. Let's do so. All right, Roman, well, we made it downstairs. We have the state-of-the-art facility, and we're gonna talk about some topics from automation to technology to the environment and what's going on here in Germany, knowing that Mitsubishi is usually associated with a Japan style, right, a Japanese style. So let's go over all of this for the audience, and I think we're gonna start here with this screen, aren't we, which is kind of fun. Am I allowed to touch this? Uh, yes, okay. Excellent. In this you case, go first. But later I will tell you what you should not touch. <laughs> so actually this is a nice application that we probably normally use to explain our products because if you look around here you see so many things but it's pretty hard to explain it to let's say kind of normal people, not engineers and especially the CNC stuff because so let's say the problem with CNC machines is your audience knows that very well but actually have you ever tried to explain it to someone on the street? I have actually, and I've done a very poor job, and they still look at me like, um, I like my phone, I still have no idea how it's made. Yeah, right? exactly. And one thing we try to do is make it easy and crisp for the people to understand what is CNC and what is, uh, what is automation doing. So therefore we created this, this chart. You, so you can see a lot of things, you, you might think about, okay, what is this doing? But actually we explain our robots there, our TFT monitors there, we explain CNC there, we can touch on the products, on the product side, we can see, okay, there's the uh, TFT LCD monitors, the um, EDM machines, but we can also see the CNC part of it, if I find it. Well, as you're looking for it, it's kind of cool, and I want to say thank you, because so many times I have had a conversation, and I'm a very much a visual learner and a hands-on learner, so if you would explain something to me, which happens often, I go, Huh? Can you show me instead? So thank you for doing this for the audience as we walk through the facility to help us all understand a bit more about what you're doing here. So when you look at the CNC part of the, of the applications, you can see our Modos amplifier, our um, application, our HMI. And what I often do to explain CNC is I ask the people, what do you think how the, how the car works, how the mobile phone works, how, how does all our um, wor the world stick together? So it's crews made by CNC machines, it's plastic parts where a mold is needed, um, to, uh, it's manufactured by a CNC milling machine, for example. So that's um, nothing in our world would exist probably, expect of, of course the plants, um, uh, without CNC machines. Uh, Roman, let's take a walk, I, I talk this a little bit more. I, you know, I say the same thing when I go, everything on the planet is made by CNC machines minus us, air, maybe some plants. But it's really curious that the most of the world doesn't really know about it. And when I think of Mitsubishi Electric as well, I think there are so many different products. I was in my elevator this morning and I saw your logo there. I look up at the air conditioning unit, I see your logo there, so it's everywhere. And what I've found, Roman, is that Mitsubishi Electric ultimately is a solutions company is what I'm finding. It's not about these products and these products and these products, although your CNC line is fantastic. EDMs out there everywhere I look, but you really are a solutions company, aren't you? We are a solutions company, but also we, like say, we try to put the customer first. That's why you also see at them our main and biggest customers, you will not see our logos everywhere. You saw it when the applications from the, um, from the, let's say, automotive industry, we don't show up at the logo. When you drive a car, probably we don't show up er anywhere with a logo. So customer first. The uh, Japanese used to say, Okuyakusama no manzuka ichiban desu, means putting the customer first priority. So that's also kind of identity of us. 
I like that you brought out your Japanese just now. I need to. I'm, I'm, it's recorded. So yes, I, yeah, it is recorded. The only I, sentence I have. <laughs> Very nice. I know Kampai, and that's about all I know. But you're right. As I'm walking around here in your facility, I was seeing uh, machines. I was seeing uh, the, the face of the machine, but it had nothing to do with a Mitsubishi logo, which... It's kind of unique when we think about how most people go branding and how most people grow and expand and create awareness. But you guys have decided to go quality and customer service first, and then that's going to continue to allow Mitsubishi to have success, right? Yeah, I would say it's a, on, on sometimes it's a threat. Okay, okay, nobody knows you if you're talking about like uh, specific applications or with customers. But at the end, it's really appreciated by most of the customers to be a little bit more understatement. Just put the customer first. If they sell products, we sell products. Roman, everybody knows you. Both the company and knows you. You're a famous guy, that I believe. So as we're here, this was somewhat explained to me, because uh, Mitsubishi kind of covers the world, and I know we want to stay on some CNC side of things, because we want to create that awareness for an industry that's paying, not truly paying attention, that we make everything. I mean, this is part of my podcast as well, from cars and satellites and airplanes to the phones in our pockets to the cameras are being recorded right now. All right, Roman, so as we're walking around, this really feels almost like a science museum to me because everything's interactive, even though you don't let me touch everything. It is interactive for the kids, I believe. So what are we looking at here on this screen? So actually, most of the people think when they think about Mitsubishi, they think about cars. Mm. Actually, we don't produce cars at Mitsubishi Electric. As you know, it's Mitsubishi Motors. But on the other hand, we have a lot of applications for the automotive industry, like sensors. And this is an easy way. As I said, we have often school classes here or people that are not, let's say, familiar with all the technical things we have. So we try to um, make it understandable for everyone in, in, in every age and every, uh, let's say, um, study background. So this actually explains in an easy way what we do in the automotive industry. In case, in case of detection sensors um, for, let's say, autonomous driving in the future. So we are way, let's say, very deep in, in these topics or entertainment um, system for cars, driver sensing if you're gonna fall to sleep soon or yeah, the, so, so with your jet lag probably your car with a uh, Mitsubishi electric sensor will uh, help you to not fall to sleep. I do appreciate that and also the autonomous driving. Let's please get to that sooner rather than later so yeah, I can also. take those naps with jet lag. Yeah. And, and with you having the same amount of travel or maybe you know right around that, I'm sure you'll appreciate that as well. I want to point out as we were walking by that also is again you are doing a really great job here at Mitsubishi Electric of helping people who are say everyday people or in other facets of, of their life with different types of education styles going let's bring it all back to this and keep it simple enough that we can all understand right because exactly. someone like myself I personally need that as well as we walk through yeah I see some robots and I see some things I do understand but at the same time I can walk through here and learn a hundred things thanks to Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Electric here in this walkthrough which is kind of neat now, I know there's a product over here as well. I think it's a little bit more forward uh, with this whole area. But uh, can you describe kind of what we're looking at here as we're walking through as well? Yeah, of course. But let's go to the Mitsubishi uh, CNC department first oh, because that's, yes. my, that's my special topic. So we have building, we have uh, elevators here. We have a lot of, um, let's say, building management systems here. But probably we have not no time to discover all of them. We have communication um, we built satellites for Turkey in this case, for example. Um, we have a big semiconductor um, uh, part of our business in the, also in the industry dis distribution, but also, of course, we have robotics and CNC where we are, let's say, more familiar with and where, where our heart beats for. So oh. we have the M800 control, the newest control for Mitsubishi Electric that we see here. We have the robots, the Melfa robots here, and probably both is linked to factory automation um, where we mainly talk about today. Yeah, and that's important to say as well. So for those of you who are taking this tour with us, if you want to see more on all these other aspects, by all means, 
come visit. You get to see all of this. For Roman and I today, we are going to focus mostly on the CNC side of things because that's, like you said, it's where our heart beats, right? Where are we coming from? This is where we're coming from. We love it. We, we're passionate about it. Again, just to be somewhat redundant, it's creating the world around us, and that's everything. So let's talk about the CNC side a little bit more and the automation side because I know Mitsubishi is big into the robots and cobots at this point as well, right? Exactly. So as you know, um, coming from the shop floor, you were a machine tool operator, I was a machine tool operator Correct. working in shifts for five years. So, And I can see that the, the um, CNC controls that we're using today makes our life much more easier. So we were shop floor programming, I was bringing like a, a mobile PC to my, to my machine, plug it in, send the, uh, send the uh, G code program, and then I was typing and typing for days. Now everything is much more easier. So we will see in the upcoming years, we will see uh, CNC control with added AI to it, to easy uh, program from a CAD system to a G code program. So we will see this. We will see handling solutions where we have a CNC, um, um, a CNC control um, controlling a robot with G-code in our direct robot control. This is possible nowadays. So it's all become easier for people like us and even much more fun. Yeah, I agree with that. So we're going to end this tour here talking about the CNC, talking about Mitsubishi Electric. Are there any messages you'd like to convey to the audience as we close this tour out to invite them in to come see what's going on? A little bit, you know, closing statements about Mitsubishi Electric for those of us watching right now. And as the sun is Beautiful, a little bit blinding me as well. Yes. So actually I would say um, the best thing uh, about Mitsubishi CNC is the people. So last five years actually we have done so um, a big job in, in uh, training, educating, creating an environment of innovation in our, in our team. Also the heritage where we are coming from. We have people here that are working for 40 years for Mitsubishi Electric. We have people here that are working just for two years um, at Mitsubishi Electric and we wanted to create the same spirit among them and it was the last five years was just wonderful working with them and uh, as I, say, I see my job as creating the best environment for the people um, to taking like best care of our customers and that's what makes really Mitsubishi Electric uh, let's say a global partner but a local friend absolutely agree and normally this would be a mic drop moment but please don't drop my mic that was too no, good you but touched the robots before I guess you do owe it to me are you gonna drop my mic yeah oh don't do that no, but come on come on come Shin, on. No. you are amazing no, just, Roman Tony, show Are we going to show them? Yeah, show the people. This what, is how we're concluding yeah. our tour. Yeah, show the people what you did before. All right, guys, I guess he's, he's not going to let me live this down. Earlier, I was playing with this whole situation. They were showing me what was going on with the robots. Apparently, there's a safety center here. Him. So I did it for him. And we shut it down. Just that it's not so embarrassing. But not only today. did we shut down the robots, we shut down the conversation as well. What a great way to end this, Roman. You are Thank amazing. You. Dankeschön. Thank Prost. You. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. And I'll see you again soon, my friend. Thank for you sure. all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Mitsubishi Electric here in Dusseldorf, Germany. Have a good time.